it's always fascinated me is how much improvement we can make with cows. And when I started 40 years ago, we had a, a crude way of assessing a cow's genetic makeup. Genomics is, is an extension or, or a more accurate way of doing what we've done for, for years. There you are. Genomic selection and the accuracy of it varies from breed to breed. 94% of the cattle in Canada are Holsteins, and it has the biggest reference population for genomic selection. Once you know the parentage, you got some idea of how good that animal is. But as soon as you add that genomic test on it, you're doubling that reliability level. The AI companies used to buy a large number of young bulls each year looking at their pedigree and offer a small amount of semen on each of those and then just to generate roughly 100 daughters of each of those bulls and when they were progeny proven by the time they were five or six years of age then we knew which ones were the best ones and transmitted the best genes. Now a bull is born on a farm and an AI company can genotype that bull and already have a really good picture of what DNA it inherited from its parents. So now over 70% of all of the semen sold is based on these genomic young bulls that have no progeny yet. Every dairyman needs to find a little extra advantage. Genomics is one of those. When you can make animals more productive, longer lasting or lower costing, that rate of genetic progress gives value to our industry. And the sum of that value over the cost of the genotyping or the investment in genomic selection has returned millions several millions to the dairy industry. In the other breeds with smaller populations, uh, it's not as easy, the gain isn't as strong, but there is gain in every breed. We can make genetic progress for any trait we know of today and any trait that we might think of tomorrow. It's not dependent upon knowing where the marker is or the QTL is. Very big difference and, and really uh, SNP selection, genomic-based selection is, uh, is gonna be much more beneficial. When I started uh, classifying, our first classification, we had 13 good plus 66 goods and 11 fairs. Our classification today is we have 10 excellence, uh, 71 very goods, 72 good pluses, and three goods. The cost of, is always going down, and, and with the cost where it is now, it, it's very um, smart to do some testing. It's a lot cheaper to do a, a, a genomic test than it is to raise an animal and find out two years from now that she really doesn't cut the mustard. Well, this year we've been genotyping over 40,000 animals in Canada. Every one of them will have 100% guaranteed parentage uh, and any errors that might have been accidentally recorded are corrected in that. So it is guaranteed as a positive outcome of genomic testing with 100% accuracy. The advantage with SNP-based genotyping is these SNP are dispersed and spread out across the entire bovine genome. Early on when we had genomics, this was the skepticism about, wow, can, does, does reading DNA really help? Am I, are we accurate? In 2019, we'll be celebrating 10 years of having genomic selection in Canada and North America and we've proven that it works. Our rates of genetic progress are more than doubled for, uh, for the most important traits and even significantly higher for all of these lower fertility traits as well. So people know that genomics works and therefore, yes, they believe that that information with more confidence today and able to invest in that. The first countries to adopt genomic selection have been those countries that are well established in dairy cattle improvement. There's many in Europe and Oceania, North America clearly, but the opportunity exists for many countries to benefit from it, even developing countries. And in that sense, uh, it typically would start with an understanding of their government uh, that it has potential and that they can invest in that. The progress has been steady and, and constant. Uh, we've doubled our, our production per cow. Our cows look better and, and last longer. The welfare of the cows greatly improved because of the different traits that we have. But in the last 
nine, 10 years with genomic uh, testing, that the rate of increase is, has come up and, and it's gone faster. So if you're graphing it, it, it would be on a higher plane. And In addition to uh, improved accuracy of selection and proper parentage recording, a third benefit of genomic selection or genotyping of heifers is the identification of those heifers that are carriers of non-desirable genes. Uh, we have a uh, in dairy cattle, genetic recessive traits. So as soon as you know it's a carrier of it, uh, you can avoid it affecting the next generation by mating uh, that animal to an animal that's not a carrier. The consumers out there are looking at us and we're trying to deliver and continue to deliver very healthy products that we all consume and that's important to dairymen. So we feel that there are opportunities with genomic selection above and beyond what we've ever had before to make sure that we're offering the best dairy products from healthy animals in healthy environments.